Hello, this is Mike Moyer, inventor of Slicing Pi for Perfect Equity Splits, and today I'm going to take you through the recalibration calculator worksheet that will help you reallocate shares to bring, your, to bring your split into alignment with the Slicing Pi model. If you're using Slicing Pi, you know that at break-even or Series A, when everyone's getting paid, the pie naturally freezes. If you have a number of outstanding shares already, restricted shares for instance, you'll want to buy back shares to bring the model into alignment. And buying back shares helps avoid tax consequences, if any. you got to talk to your accountant, of course, about that, but the spreadsheet's the tool to make it really easy. So all you do is edit the fields that are in red. So I'm going to make a team here. We'll call it Mike, Sam, Jim, and Ann. At the beginning of this company, they each issued themselves 10,000 restricted shares. As you can see, the spreadsheet automatically calculates what the split is based on the number of shares that are outstanding. So in this case, each person has 25%. Now in this particular example, I'm pretending these are restricted shares. So people have no rights to them until they freeze at the end with the slicing pie model. So we're using the slicing pie model in the background to determine the final allocation. And I'll enter a final allocation. So we'll say 10% for Mike, 25% for Sam, 44% for Jim, and that leaves 21% for Ann. Now in this case, the spreadsheet has picked out the person who has the largest number, of sh largest percentage according to slicing pi. So in this case it's Jim. And they've shown how many shares Jim has, which is 10,000. So this, the model calculates, the spreadsheet calculates the number of shares that should be outstanding if Jim owns 44%. So in this case it's 22,700 and 27 shares should be outstanding in order to make Jim's share 44%. This means that Mike should have 2,273 shares, Sam should have 5,682 shares, Jim should keep his 10,000 shares, and Ann should have 4,773 shares, which means you have to buy back a number of shares in order to bring it into balance with the slicing pie model. The benefit of buying back shares is we can help avoid a tax consequence. If we issued new shares, that could be a potential tax consequence. So this spreadsheet will help you determine how many shares to buy back from each participant. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you find this tool useful, and thank you very much for watching.